this, my friends, is the PCT. I feel on top of the world. Hello, I'm River and today I wanted to talk to you about my big three on the PCT. It's basically a gear review for you and it's about the three big items that you usually take on your hike being, well it's technically four, but being your backpack, your sleep system which is sleeping bag and pad and your tent that you use as well. So firstly to start off, my tent straight into it so I actually um, I'm not gonna put it up for you I can put in some photos um, I actually used the Nemo Hornet and it's a two-person tent and um, I loved it I really really enjoyed this product it weighed 1.1 um, kilos with the footprint and it's a freestanding tent that or semi freestanding it has poles that I carried um, and I guess the reason I chose this tent was coming from Australia, I really tried to use uh, or to purchase products that were available here and I didn't have to order from overseas without having a chance to go and actually see it up or touch it or whatever um, in person before I bought it. I really, um, I'm not generally an internet shopper for anything, for clothes or whatever. I love the process of going and seeing something, trying it on, um, you know, and I literally went into Paddy Palin, my local camping store, and um, asked them to set up the tent in the middle of their store and I climbed inside. And um, yeah, I was really happy with it. It's, it probably cost me around $600. Um, I did get it on sale, so it was a little bit less, but that's really what it's worth. And truly, um, it's still got so much life in it. Like I slept in this for, you know, five and a half months and it's still going strong. Um, the two things that I have <laughs> happened with it, um, I did crack a pole while I was out there. That's probably bound to happen. Um, I used just the sleeve over the pole um, and that, that worked really well. I did, while I was out there, go online and order a replacement section, which I didn't end up using after all that because it kind of just stayed true and held together. But I was amazed by how easy that process was. They had a really clear diagram as, um, with every section of the Y-shaped poles labeled, you know, piece A, B, C, la, la, la. So I, you know, just reply the email that I sent through an inquiry and said, yes, I would like one of piece C, please. And it was, I think, $10. It was a very reasonable price. And they shipped it straight out to um, me at, on a, to a post office along the trail. So I had a really good experience with them even trying to get a replacement piece for it. And yeah, I've had one small mouse hole chewed into it in Washington. Thank you, rodents of Washington. Um, but yeah, really, really happy um, with this tent. I have actually since moved now across to the duplex only because it's half the weight and um, I can see myself doing other through hikes in the future and really trying to get my base weight down. Um, but yeah, honestly, for a lot of my hikes, even here in Australia, um, I still plan on using this tent for quite a while yet. So really, really happy with it. Um, a lot of people always ask me about my sleeping bag. I don't even have it to hold up to you. It was so disgusting by the time I got to the end, I actually threw it out. Um, but I, it's my sleeping bag was nothing to write home about really. Um, I swapped out most of my gear throughout the first first half of the hike and my sleeping bag was one of the first items that I got rid of. So I started with a Cedar Summit bag and from here in Australia and I think it was like a minus five degrees Celsius bag and I lasted two weeks in it and I was freezing just even in the desert in it. I started early um, so I started on the 12th of March in my hike and yeah even in the desert at night I was really cold so I, once I got to Big Bear um, I jumped on the REI website and just ordered a random um, REI bag that was in budget and um, I was ended up getting a, a 15 degree Fahrenheit or a minus 10 degree Celsius bag. Um, it wasn't lightweight, but it did the job and it was cheap. And that was really my priorities at the time while I was over there and paying the US dollar. Um, but yeah, so that's why I had no issues at all with chucking it out once I got home, to be honest, because I knew that I was definitely gonna upgrade to something lighter, which I um, since have. But 
Um, it honestly, it did the job and a lot of people have questions about temperature ratings. I am a really cold sleeper. Um, I combined that um, minus 10 Celsius sleeping bag with a fleece sleeping bag liner to keep me warm. And that did the job. Obviously the Sierras were still cold. I was sleeping on the snow. And I guess that brings me to my mat. Um, I had the Thermarest Z-Lite mat which is not a very insulating mat when you're sleeping on a bed of ice. So um, yes, with that sleeping bag, I was still cold, um, but I was only in the, the extreme conditions when I think everybody was cold. So um, yeah, I was really happy with that sleeping bag, but like I said, I've now upgraded to um, an Australian custom made version of something very similar to inland equipment. Um, for my future through hikes, I will actually do another one of these videos before I go of my whole um, updated kit. But um, I will say though, this mat here, um, it's, it's getting pretty thin now. Um, yeah, it, it's lived a really good life. It's probably due to be replaced because it's kind of squashed, but I love it. And this is honestly my favorite piece of gear for the whole trail. I laid this out for lunch every day and I slept on it every night and I'm a side sleeper and I had no issues at all sleeping on it. Um, it's just a matter of whatever you get used to. I am really quite okay with um, slumming it. My pack was my pillow as well. Um, and yeah, honestly, after a long day hiking, um, I really didn't mind at all. I love this piece and would 100% use this again. It's kind of annoying that it has to go onto the outside of your pack. That's the only thing that would make me want to go to an inflatable mat so I can have everything inside. But I mean, this has been so, so durable um, and I have not treated it very, very kindly at all. So um, would 110% recommend this and will use it again for my next through hike my pack so my pack is a, another very long story um i swapped out i tried three different packs on the trail overall um i started off with a gossamer gear um, mariposa i think it was um, and that just was not the right bag for me i knew um, i learned very early on within probably the first week um, and i think my biggest issue was that firstly i got it a size too big um, in the, the back. So it didn't fit properly to my shoulders. So I was carrying a lot of the weight incorrectly, but also, um, that bag is really for ultralight, ultralight hikers, which, um, I'm, I'm wasn't for the PCT. So I just had, um, I was carrying far too much, um, for it, which made it sit really uncomfortably. So my base weight, I think when I started was around seven kilos. And then of course you're adding food and water to that. Now, um, for the desert, I was carrying up to six liters of water through some of the dry, long, hot stretches. And then I was also carrying four or five days of food. So um, my pack was generally between 15, uh, sort of 12 to 15 kilos roughly, um, up the higher end of sort of up to 17 on really, really big um, water and food carries as well. Um, and of course, that was at the start before I'd done real proper gear shakedowns and swapped out some of my gear. So um, the, the Gossamer gear and an ultralight bag did not suit me. Um, I was lucky enough to get um, a sponsorship from Osprey as well. So they sent me through um, what's called their Levity Pack. And that was a brand new pack at the time, it was 2018. And it's a, a really thin, really lightweight pack that they have. Um, I think it weighs about 800 grams. And again, I used that for a few days and had to eventually just swallow the fact that I wasn't an ultralight hiker and shouldn't be using an ultralight bag. So I was having the same issues. Um, all the weight was because the pack was over capacity. It was really hurting my shoulders. And honestly, I'd get into camp and be like, I think I've cracked a collarbone. Like I was just in so much pain with it. So um, I emailed my contact back at um, Osprey and said, hey guys, can I swap this pack? It's really not working for me. I need something that can carry huge amounts of weight because of the amount of water that I'm carrying. Um, and so that's when they actually sent me through this Aura 50. Um, so it's 50 litre pack. It's actually really big and really heavy. Um, it weighs nearly two kilos, but um, considering it was probably an extra kilo on top of what I was already carrying, it is unbelievable how much more comfortable I was in it. So when you look at the back of this pack here, um, 
the amount of padding on this, it really does um, contribute to comfort levels. And the um, anti-gravity suspension system is like the most comfortable, breathable pack ever. Um, it carries the weight on your hips so well that um, even though I was already really sore and tender from the previous packs I've been carrying, um, moving straight into this one just was everything I needed. A little slice of heaven out there. So um, I really loved it. And I mean, this pack had so many great features. Um, first of all, the, the straps here so I could attach my... Um, my mat to it, it, it just made life so easy. I can just clip it, um, unclip it straight away for lunch, which I just loved and used every single day. Um, and then something else on the PCT that you need to look for is a way to carry your ice axe. So this has the ice axe loop um, in it as well. So um, you pop it in here, you twist it around a few times, you put it up and then these come out and clip around the top of the ice axe. So your ice axe sits sort of this way. Um, and the other two features that I loved the most was the brain. A lot of people normally take this off. Um, I had a really big full pack, far bigger than um, what I would these days, but I could actually walk and undo it and access everything in the top of the brain in the pack up here. So that was super handy. And um, hip pockets. I really quickly learned that's a non-negotiable for me. I keep my phone in here. I keep snacks in here. Um, and yeah, I really struggled on some of the packs that didn't have it and I very quickly learned that um, that is a, a really big requirement for me. Um, and also just their, their side pockets. So your bottles fit in this way, but they have the, um, the access side pockets as well, which meant that when I was hiking, I could get my water bottles out. Um, and it took me a while to get in the habit of that. And it's really important to make sure you stay hydrated while you hike and find a way that works for you. A lot of people will attach their water bottles here um, and I did that for a while as well, but it just kind of, I found, felt myself a little bit claustrophobic uh, with everything around here. So getting back in that habit of accessing my bottles from the, the side pockets um, ended up working the best for me. So honestly, um, I really love this pack. Um, I've since washed it. Make sure you wash all your gear when you get home from a trail like that. But my badge is still sewn on there, the Australian badge, the Scout Australia. Um, I actually don't use this pack anymore. I use it, well, I, I use it for my backcountry snow trips because again, it carries good weight and um, I go for bigger, heavier, bulkier items. Um, but I've moved now into um, a smaller pack again. So I think I use a 40 liter pack now. Um, again, it's another Osprey. Ugh, I can't remember the name of it. I'll pop it up here um, in the comments, but I, I'm so happy with, um, again, Osprey. They've taken really good care of me. Um, I'm lucky to still continue to be an ambassador for them as well. But I've just found that I'm onto a pack that weighs, I think it's something like 1.2 kilos now, which is still, I understand, a little bit on the heavier end um, of packs. But for me, it truly makes a difference in the level of comfort when I'm, that's, you know, 300 grams that I'm willing to invest in um, to save my shoulders, to make sure it's fitting properly on my hips and um, still got all those important straps that I use all of the time. So yeah, that was my, my big three, my little gear review for you. Um, it has, like I mentioned, it's changed so much while I was out there. I think I now have a base weight of about five kilos and I would love to keep getting that down even more for my next through hike. So um, there was a lot of lessons that I learned out there and hopefully that's helped you as well. So good luck for your through hike and stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe um, and follow along for all my other videos um, around the PCT and through hiking. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye.